I can tell the room's a little nervous. That's okay. We're going to get started. We're going to get started. I've uh, been here a long time. Prior to this, I was reading specialist and dyslexia therapist. I've also been fifth grade um, teacher. And so this place is like Disney World to me and I just enjoy all the rides. Spelling Bee is one of our favorite rides to go on. We love Spelling Bee. Mrs. Barnes, our librarian, does a beautiful job setting it up for us every year, making sure all the kids are comfortable and have what they need, um, inviting the parents and allowing, convincing the teachers to allow the students to bring a uh, support buddy with them. And so we're just thankful that all of you all are here today. Just to give you a few housekeeping items, um, antlers. Antlers. A N T L E R S. Antlers. <laughs> Correct. Nine. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Peaceful. Peaceful. P E A C E F U L. Peaceful. Correct. Number nine. Correct. Number eight. Saucer. Saucer. S A U C E R. Saucer. Correct. Number nine. Correct. Number eight. Syllables. Syllables. S Y L L A B L E S. Syllables. Correct. Number nine. L T N T I O N. Correct. Let's give everyone a round of applause for those. Inner E R Number eight. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Demure, an adjective meaning marked by quiet modesty or restraint or shy, demure. Demure, D-E-M-U-R-E, -E. demure. Correct, nine. T, A, L, may I please use here? Correct, and yes. Let's give a clap for a round. Number eight. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Aura, which is a noun and means a, distinct, a distinctive appearance or impression. Aura. Aura. A-U-R-A. Aura. Correct. Okay. Correct. Let's check clap for round six. Animatronics. A N I M A T R O N I C S. Animatronics. Correct. 
correct. Nine. Round eight will begin. Number one. Eight. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Minimus, a noun, meaning the little finger or toe. Minimus. Minimus. M I 